we finally made it. Uh, yeah, we're, whoops, little adjustment there. Uh, we're all set. Uh, we're heading up to, uh, uh, we're gonna walk by Cultus Lake and then, uh, and there's the sign to Winnipe Trail. We're gonna go up the Winnipe Trail to Winnipe Lake. And then we're gonna spend the next couple of days looping around on the PCT, hopefully, as long as everything goes okay. Although I did forget my hat, which just shocks me. Tracker is off running up the trail ahead of me, like he's not supposed to do. And he doesn't have his tracking device on yet, but you know, I'll quarter him, the little rascal. <laughs> anyway, it's gorgeous out here. So um, we're ready to go. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, here we are on the trail. Let's see, Tracker's up here relaxing in the shade. Uh, and we've got the uh, Cultist Lake. I don't know if you can see it back there, but it's back there uh, behind us. We're passing Cultist Lake, which is about where the trailhead was. And there's a, uh, oh, Tracker. I don't know if you can see him or not. He's down there on the ground, <laughs> Tracker. He's relaxing. He's got a nice cool spot, that Tracker. Yeah, Tracker's got a cool spot. Oh, there he goes. All right. Well, anyway, um, I have exactly 40 pounds on my back, which is 100 times better than the last time. Uh, was way over weight. I've dropped a few pounds myself, and then I dumped 10 pounds out of the pack. Definitely got the right amount of food. Didn't bring too much this time. And uh, yeah. We're all good. Uh, beautiful lake, beautiful views. This is a great trail. Uh, gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. All right, well, we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're uh, taking a quick break. It's only been 45 minutes. Uh, trail is about 50% shade, so it's awesome. I just heard a uh, mosquito. I hope the place isn't surrounded with mosquitoes. Oh no, I have repellent and I have bug netting. So, you know, if they show up, I got everything. Trackers even got special repellent. Ah, there's a, the first dead mosquito. Uh, he even has bug repellent, but it's a, uh, a natural like eucalyptus or something I don't recall exactly there was a few to choose from um, on the way up we were driving through gazillions of butterflies I mean for miles and miles and miles I don't think they're monarchs I think they're painted ladies but I'm not sure um, at some point I'll, oh wait there goes a couple uh, if I see one stopped, I can get a look at it. But uh, they look smaller than a monarch, so I'm not sure. But they're everywhere. They're just everywhere. Butterflies everywhere. Yeah, the front of my car is like dotted with all kinds of dead butterflies. Very unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right, so tracker's off to the side there. Looks like tracker sees something. Maybe there's another hiker. Oh yeah, oops, okay, well. Well, we're just hiking along the trail here. I can see the lake. Oh, there's Tracker. Tracker! How's it going, Track? How's it going, Tracker? He's just all over the place. That boy. Hey, you can see the lake through there. Let's see if I can get this over. Yeah. That's still Cultus, I believe. But we're just about past it. We're going to be past it here shortly. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Tons of butterflies. And there goes Tracker. <laughs> Well, I know that this is not a mushroom, but it's some kind of fungus, that's for sure. Wow, there's another one, there's two of them. These things are weird. 
Isn't that right, Tracker? <laughs> yeah, that's strange. Camera shadow. Okay, heading on. Well, looks like the trail's a little flooded. So Tracker looks like he found a little side trail. Maybe we can get around the flooded trail. Can we make it, Tracker? Oh boy. Uh-oh. Tracker's going back swimming. We're at a uh, little tiny, like, I uh, don't know the name right off the top of my head. Uh, Tracker's like down. <laughs> He's like really soaking. Anyway, I wanted to show this cabin. It's a log cabin. And, uh, Looks like the roof is collapsed. I saw that in a video from a couple of years ago and it wasn't collapsed like that at all, but it's, it's a mess now. It must have been all the snow from this last winter. Okay, Tracker, are you ready? Give it a good shake. All right. Well, we finally stopped walking and set up our first camp. You can see Tracker there cruising around there's the lake there's the tent yeah it's a tough view you know I think tracker likes it right tracker <laughs> he's busy on the hunt for grubs <laughs> I don't know what it is well so there you go. We're going to go down and get some water. Do some filtering. Um, yeah, I think the butterflies were painted ladies. That's what I think. Um, you know, where we are... Whoa, what happened? Where we are... <laughs> the gimbal went crazy. Uh, seems like where we are, the... Um, the mosquitoes aren't so bad right here for whatever reason. Why do you think it is, Tracker? Anyway, there you go. I'm going to sign off. Hey, Tracker, what are you doing? Tracker. Did you hear a deer? How about a bear? A cougar? <laughs> Tracker. Rawr. Tracker. Okay, he's not in the mood to look. Uh, you know, um, I realized they have a little gear situation here. Um, I lost a counterweight for my gimbal, but the, there's an adjustment on the gimbal as well that was a little bit loose. Um, because you, you know, what when, with a gimbal like this, you put a plug into the side of the phone for the microphone um, it pushes the phone out a little bit and it, and it usually needs a, uh, a counterweight but somehow that's missing I'm not sure whether I lost it on this trip or the last one I really haven't used it since then so it seems to be working now I adjusted the uh, the arm and tightened it up so that <laughs> you mosquito i gotta get out the deet i mean oh my god you put that on and they just run so uh, it seems to be working now though even without the counterweight because it's adjusted all the way and i guess when i'm walking and swinging it it kind of loosened the the adjustment screw um I, gosh i hope i don't lose something like that there must be uh, Think about that big wide rubber band or uh, put something on it so it can't just go falling off. Anyway, all right, well, beautiful night. Um, the mosquitoes aren't as bad as they were at the lower lakes. We came up a little bit higher than we meant to because uh, the lake we were gonna stay at really was too marshy, too many mosquitoes, <laughs> so. Yep, you just got to keep going to higher. And um, this little spot right here doesn't seem to be bothered. Anyway.
we will talk tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, we will make it to the PCT. Okay, I just realized I did not tell the best story of the day. Um, and I can't go to bed without telling the best story. So we went to the uh, the lake we were going to uh, stay at. And uh, what the heck was the name of that? Winnopee Lake. Um, and we didn't like it. It was too swampy. It wasn't nice and clean like this one. This one's really nice. Couldn't get any mosquitoes. Um, so... We turned the corner at this one little cove, and it was kind of squampy. It was a great big, big cove, too. There's a deer to the uh, right and in front of us, and it sees us, and it's kind of cornered. And so <laughs> I see it. Tracker doesn't see it. It ducks behind some bushes like it's hiding. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. So I thought, okay, maybe I shouldn't tell Tracker, but... He heard something, and he goes scooting up ahead, and then it jumps out, goes bounding, and you know across this marshy thing, that's like I don't know two feet of water, no, it's not that much, one foot of water, with a whole bunch of little plants and stuff growing up, and it is like bounding through the water. It had to be deeper, two feet maybe. Anyway, so he's bounding through the water. Very interesting to watch. He could not go very quickly because he had to jump up out of the water and then back in. Tracker's following him, bounding the same way. Little Tracker running after the deer. It's like, oh my God. I saw it back up the trail. I start blowing the whistle. Um, I sit down. I relax and uh, blow the whistle, you know, every minute or so. And after about five minutes, he came running back. He heard the whistle, he gave up chasing the deer, and came back. So it was all good. So there you go. But it was so funny. Bounding through the marsh. It was just, I wish I had the camera ready to go. That would have been fantastic video. All right. Good night. Well, okay. Day two. We've already done maybe five miles, I guess, at least. I'm not sure what time it is. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Uh, let's see, it doesn't say. Um, so we are, uh, we made it. Here we are. Pacific Crest Trail, by golly. How about that? So, Tracker's happy about that. Yeah, so we've ran into six PCT hikers so far. There was a group of four, three Finns and one German. And then the last two guys are just doing the, uh, Oregon section. Um... Yeah, so uh, we're just uh, doing a 34-mile loop. So let's see, five miles. We did nine yesterday, so that's like 14, 34-mile loop. We got 20 miles to go. So we're pro today's probably going to be a great day. We'll probably make a lot of miles. This is kind of a flat trail, relatively flat. So um, we're doing really good. We're doing like three miles an hour. And you got to do three miles an hour to stay in, uh, ahead of the mosquitoes. You, you start slowing down to one mile an hour, and they're all over you. Um, all those guys going by had bug nets on. So, uh, okay. I've got a bug net. I didn't bring my hat. It would make it drape better, but <sighs> get out of here, bug. So, um, and then, gosh, one other thing. Yeah, you know, it could have been easier. Uh... But yesterday evening, towards the end of the trail, there were like a dozen blowdowns. And then this morning, coming up to the PCT, another dozen blowdowns. Those things are brutal. Oh, my gosh. Old legs and you're tired. Those things, you know, some of them, you know, they're right on the trail. You can step over. But the majority of them, you got to, like, figure out. Are you going around? Are you going to climb over? I mean, oh, jeez. Those are just not too fun. But... Oh, well. Uh, so there you go. All right. We're going to keep heading on. See how many more PCT hikers we run into. Take care. For two miles. Oh, dang.
I'm not good sleeping alone, you know. He's got a two minute Okay, I finally got it rolling here. <laughs> Hello, oh, guys. See me with my twins? So, <laughs> Look at this. Here he, here he you is, guys are twins. Check oh, my gosh. Check check the same pack, Taylor. same everything. Hey, why don't you have a net? Look at you. Oh, okay. Are you guys uh, coming up from Mexico? or? Uh, he and I are doing the state. And yes. he Oregon? Yep. And you're, oh, wow. I'm thinking maybe next year. I don't know. I don't know. My, <sighs> you don't look young. I'm 61, so I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you. Yeah, we're hiking again. Let's see, it looks like I need to charge this phone up, but I just wanted to take a picture of this. You don't see a lot of these coming our way. The little Pacific tri Pacific Crest Trail uh, sign. There you go, there it is. Yeah, it's night two. We made it to the, the next camp and uh, we're in Mosquitoville. It's crazy. So we're hiding in the tent. Of course, it's probably seven o'clock almost, I suppose. And Tracker was swimming, having a good time. And now he's tired. So he's in his little, his little sleeping bag. And um, he likes to sleep inside out because he, he likes the green side. He doesn't want to sleep on the dark side. So that's all good. Oh my goodness. Um, we must have ran into 50 people today. So many through hikers and um, a lot of people doing just Oregon and then a few section hikers like us. So um, yeah, fun stuff. We found a camp here and there is um, gosh, another five or six people camped over and uh, yeah kind of fun we have a community <laughs> anyway there you go we must have hiked 14 miles that's like the new record anyway all right take care yes it's a bug net morning <laughs> we're still on the pct there's the lake behind us there oops Oh, you can't see it. I gotta turn around. Trekkers get his feet wet. Whoops. What you doing there, Track? Good boy. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Too many bugs. Yep. All right, Tracker. Come on. Uh huh. It's Dixie <laughs> and Mom. Yay, How are gosh. you? Who Great. am I gonna run into are next? You? Darwin? Uh, no, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't Joking. Think no. <laughs> well, uh, surprise running into you. I'm shocked to be honest with you. And this is a horrible section. Yes. Well, I mean, it's beautiful. It's flat. It's gorgeous. But these mosquitoes, right? Right. Killer. Yeah. I feel like I'm anemic. <laughs> oh wow. For sure. Yeah. How are the braces coming? I shouldn't ask that question. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, I'm due for an appointment. Like, oh, a month yeah. Ago, but I'm I have done those. <laughs> I've done those when I was older, yeah. I, ha I did them in, uh, when I was in middle school, but they, it didn't stick. So. Well, well, it was awfully nice seeing you. Yeah. Well, we're off to PCT. Uh, we left at 7 in the morning. Uh, our t camp last night was just infested with mosquitoes. We're still getting hit with them. We're going down. Uh, we're looping back to the trailhead. Uh, we still have quite a few miles to go, but we've gone, let's see, five, seven, 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 about eight miles, I would say, so far. Could be nine, but certainly eight. Um, and saw just so many people on the PCT. Of course, there was Dixie uh, and her mom, and so that was kind of cool. Watched Dixie's videos many times, so that was fun. Uh, so there you go. Right now, we are heading back on a trail. It's the Irish Lake Trail, but it's also a road, a, fire, a forest road. So, um, 
yeah, you know, it's not as fun as going on a little hiking path, but still not bad. It's uh, pretty much down the hill, so we are just booking, uh, doing some good time. All right, we'll see you down the road. Yeah, we're heading down the road. It's nice and shady here. Primarily downhill, so that's kind of nice. Uh, if it wasn't for the bugs, it's crazy. We get up here to the main cultist lake. No mosquitoes, just infestation of butterflies. And then we get up on that PCT and it's just like mosquito town. Oh my God. We couldn't even come out and talk to people because, you know, out of the tents, everybody was just hiding out. Nobody wanted to, nobody wanted to come out of their tent because of the mosquitoes. But, uh, all good. Okay, signing off. Toodaloo.